Hello and welcome back to the Kids Coding Playground channel. Uh, today we'll go over to uh, try to make the ninja uh, move around the uh, the, pla uh, the platform here, and also he should not be open to uh, he should not be able to walk through this wall here. So we'll try to fix that. And um, so before we begin, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you know any friend that's interested in uh, doing Scratch programming, please introduce our channel to them and ask them to uh, watch some of our video and uh, hopefully they will subscribe as well. All right. And uh, let me try to go through what we have learned last time. Okay. Here we go. Let's take a look at what we have learned last time. So uh, we had... Uh, created uh, some of the uh, custom block here jump control run control simulate gravity and start again basically this is like kind of reset the game um so as you can see this is start again so if you have missed any of the code please you can pause the video and uh, just take a look and make sure that you got everything that you needed um so this is the green flag click this is the run control right and then here's the simulated gravity. Let me do this away. I was testing something. And here is the uh, checking if the uh, the user is hitting any button. If not, we'll put him back to a standing position. And this is the jump control. And we added the up arrow to jump. Uh, we can also add like um, the um, W key to jump as well since we already added the other key for moving left and right the D key and the A key right so we'll add the W key okay so this is so far that's what we have for the ninja right that's the code for the ninja from top here and then mm -hmm. some of the code in the bottom here um, we can probably organize it better a little bit uh, later uh, putting all the custom block maybe on this side so that way we can kind of focus on the on all the all the games and stuff so custom block on the left side and other code on the right side okay all right so this is our kind of begin this is another when flat click and these are two jump control we can put it probably next to this guy this jump so that way we have everything together okay all right we have nice and neat okay um what we're going to do is uh right now we are going to teach uh i'm going to uh, teach you guys how we can make a hitbox prevent the dangers kind of run across here so let's try and run uh test this game out again okay Okay, let's begin. Um, I think I had some code here. Let me remove this code. Uh, this is for the hitbox. Uh, I was actually trying something earlier. Let's put it back originally. This the code is like this. Okay, now let's stop this. Let's run it again. So as you can see, the ninja is kind of, he can move, right? But one problem is he can kind of run through here. You see that? That's not what we want. So what we want to do is prevent the ninja from running across like this. Uh, what we can do is we can build a hitbox so once you set up all your platform um all your platform um make sure that you have a code to make sure that all, when it start we always want to go to the position that you want to lay your your image here and we'll do something similar for the uh, hitbox so uh, the platform once you have the platform set up with all your three costume uh, what you can do is this uh, i already have it right here but i'll show you so you can say right click duplicate so we'll create something new, right? For this, what you can do is you can go in and you can edit this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I already have the hitbox here. What I'm going to do is go in and edit the uh, first level. Basically, I'm going to take off the green part and leave the brown part in place so that, you know, we can use as a hitbox so that the, uh, the character cannot run through. It works well for like this kind of level, but um, and this level is fine. But this level we will have some trouble. You'll see later on why because of the uh, you know the small box here in between. Um, okay, 
so that's how you do it right you just do a copy duplicate and then similar to, to here I already have it so I'll show it to you here so what you do once you duplicate you can go in and kind of remove the top so I'll show you how, how this is being done so let's say if I'm over here on this one so what you can do is this you see how you have these boxes right so what you can do is select the bottom piece just hold the shift key and what you do is select them all, copy, and then kind of control V, control C and control V, and you kind of move it on top like this. Okay. And then after that, what you can do is you can select these guy on the top of the green part and just kind of delete them like this. And if you want to adjust your you know up and down, you can do that as you can see is not uh, perfectly even. If you want it to perfectly even, then you know click on it you can push the up key up key to make it kind of perfectly even right whatever you like to do so you can see this perfectly even so same thing for like other boxes so what you can do is just select these just the middle row copy control C control V move it like right here and you can just delete the top piece off right so that's how we will actually do it right so same thing for this just find one that you like and put it here okay so this is how you actually do the uh, platform removing uh, the hitbox just removing copy and then removing the top there okay so let's go back to my hitbox i can trash this that was just an example uh maybe i don't trash it i'll show you something later okay let's go back and let's fix our level one so for our level one hitbox, I just did a copy from here. Uh, so it's the exact same position. So what we can do is kind of go in and kind of delete all this little icon here. So we don't need that. So what we can do is we can just copy this guy and control V. And you can see I just lay it over here and then I'll delete the top. Same thing with this. Control C, Control V. So we'll delete the top. We'll adjust the height here. So we'll kind of bring it back down a little. This can go up one more. You can just adjust them using the up and down key if you want to perfectly align. So, so I have my second level done here. Same thing here. Do a copy, mm -hmm. Control C, and Control V, and you can just put it like right here, something like that. If you want to adjust it, just use the uh, up arrow, down arrow. It's a little easier. Okay, just delete that, this part. So now I have my kind of my hitbox here, right? Okay. All right. So um, what I did, I already did in level two. And for level three, um, you'll see is there will be some issue. We can either uh, cut it later. I'll show you. Um, so we'll leave it like this for now so let's save it uh, let's put our ninja back to the here so what we need to do is go back to the platform go back to the code so when we start we are going to set the uh, level so what we're going to do is uh, set level to 1 send us our custom right number 1 so it will match that custom. You see, this is one, two, three, right? Right, one, two, three. So we'll use that as a change switch custom. So you say uh, switch custom to the variable level, which is one right now. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it go to the back layer because they don't want the, um, the platform to be covering the ninja or whatever or the tree 
right? So we'll, we'll make it go black layer. And next time when we increase, let's say, go to the next level, we have some code, we can change the level by one, right? We can do that later, we don't need to do now. So uh, what we had is kind of set up the level. And what we can do is go back to our hitbox. Uh, same thing, right? With our hitbox, we want to um, uh, set it up as such, right? So, okay, for the hitbox, we will kind of keep it um, on level one for now. We'll, we'll, we'll have some logic, like be, depending on the level, uh, what we want to show. Uh, for now, we're just going to green flag is click because I'm actually going to change that later on to uh, have maybe receive a uh, message thing when it's start up, uh, set up, then we'll do that. But uh, we'll, we'll, for right now, we're, we're testing the uh, hitbox. So uh, we can just put in a logic like something like this. If so, we have the variable level, right? We'll change it later on this thing. So if it's equal to one, right? if it's equal to one, then we want this to go to this position. So wherever this position is, right? So what we want to do, we want to make sure this hitbox and the platform goes to the same position so that they overlay each other, right? If not, then you'll have some issue, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put into uh, platform one for now. So we're going to test it out. And our hitbox is also on platform one, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the ghost effect uh, of the hitbox so that you cannot see the hitbox. Okay, we'll go to look. Okay, set uh, ghost effect to 100. So when the green flag is clicked, you'll go to the um, level one, then it will use this uh, custom. We can do like change custom or whatever. All right, so we'll just say switch custom for now to level one, right? Okay, all right. So very similar to the platform, right? Okay, for the hitbox. So if we say start, we'll save it. We'll start. So you will. So. What we are going to do is uh, we have to delete this. This is kind of blocking the way, right? Let's just trash this guy. Okay, this is what we have so far. So the hitbox is behind here. You couldn't see it. Uh, what we can do is we're going to keep the ninja from uh, walking past this, right? So we're going to go back to the ninja code. Okay, so we have it here, right? So we don't want the ninja to run past it if it touched the hitbox. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we're gonna use this one. We are going to use this end join, and this is a knot. So basically, if it's not touching uh, the hitbox and he's not dying, then we'll let him move, right? So put this. So change that out. Change it out to this. And then we will actually need another uh, start script here. So what I'm doing is having a different start script so that is the it multiple uh, you know uh, uh, loop is going with different thread, so it doesn't block uh, whatever it's doing. So this guy can do one thing, this guy can do another thing, right? So. So I have the start flags click. So basically, when you click on this green flag, these code will run. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the forever loop. And we are going to use a condition check here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, OK, so we are going to see if it actually touched the hitbox, right? So what we say is hitbox, if it's touching the hitbox, and um, actually this is not correct, we have to move this one under the if statement actually. 
inside the if statement we'll put a else if else statement inside okay so this is what we're going to check is what direction the ninja is pointing if the ninja is pointing to to the right which is 90 then we want him to go back if it's pointing to the left and they're trying to hit the hitbox and we're going to go back to the right so either way right so we're going to check the direction of the ninja is pointing uh, what you can do is um, you can use this and we have to go to some, go to direction I believe is in here here exposition so this is the direction of the ninja if the direction of the ninja is 90 which is pointing he's facing to the right side we want to change his X okay change his X by minus 10 uh, so we did minus 10 because that's how how fast it's running right you remember with the run speed in the beginning so run speed is 10 so this is kind of matching that up so uh, minus 10 backward so else so if he's not going the, the 90, then he must be going the other way, right? So you will say plus 10. So make him go back to the right. So if he's facing to the right, then we'll make him go to the left. If he's facing to the left, we'll make him go to the right if he hit the hitbox. Okay, let me stop it. So uh, before, as you can see, right, we're actually running through. Let me take this out. You can kind of see again. So if I run the run, Oh, okay. So because of uh, this, we are blocking him, right? Uh, also, we put this here just in case if he actually uh, run faster and he actually hit this, right? We want to put him back. Okay, let's run it again. Because, so now, so you see he cannot go into the hitbox. So he cannot run through the wall now. So you see he can run like this. He can run like this, but he cannot run through now because uh, this code here make him push him backward and this code is stopping him to able to go forward. Okay. All right. So this works pretty well, right? Uh, let's check. Let's stop this. And let's say we use a uh, platform number two and see what happens. And we will make this guy go to We'll put a wait for one second, okay, here. So what we're going to do, I think the, I think even platform two is the same position. I think the go to can be outside, actually. I have not moved my platform when I did uh, the, uh, the when I'm doing different level. So actually it will work well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little wait here. So I want this, I want this to set up the variable before this guy go, right? So we'll put a little weight here. Uh, we'll change all this later on. Okay. Uh, what we can do is we can even draw out this if statement. We don't need it. So we'll, let's make it uh, easier. Okay, we'll do this. We'll throw this away. Okay, so the hitbox will just follow whatever the level has, right? So let's start again. So you see how it is slow, right? So you see this? That's why it doesn't work well. So you make we'll we'll have to we'll have to make sure that you know next time we'll we'll have the setup, right? We we'll have some kind of setup so we will wait for all the level to generate before we put the user in. We we'll can do that next time. But for today we were just trying to get the um, the hitbox working correctly. So now the ninja is here. Mm -hmm. Right. So we still haven't fixed the box, right? With the box, we had to make sure that, okay, if it's this level, we'll have to put the box here, right? Or something like that, we can do that later. Well, with the setup, once they generate the map, we know where it is, then we'll set up the box. Okay, so let's go back to the Ninja. So let's run again. So as you can see, right, he, he, can, he cannot go, go past, go inside the box, you see? It's getting blocked, right? It works pretty well, right, for this kind of platform. So he cannot kind of go through that, he'll fall into the water, right? We haven't worked on the code for the water yet. So if he found the water, we'll make him back over here, right? That we can work on next time. But as you can see, um, if we try to go to like the third level, uh, let me just take this out. I'm just gonna switch it manually to third level. 
and here in this hitbox I'll select third level which is this one Okay, this one doesn't matter so now we start you can see that we're fine with this one right you cannot run through but you see he's he's getting it, when he get into here when he's trying to jump up this is kind of getting stuck on him right you see this because we have this hitbox everywhere and then if you try to jump up we're going to try to push him back away right so what you can do is um uh, what you can do for simplicity's sake, uh, you can go here and you can go back to the hitbox. What you can do is you can convert this to bitmap first. Or you can just change it but uh, uh, make it smaller, right? So, But you, if you don't convert to bitmap, you're trying to erase. It doesn't erase. You see this? It doesn't erase. So you have to convert to bitmap. So this one I converted to bitmap. So what I did was I kind of erase a real a lot of it just leaving just a tiny bit on top a tiny bit on top so if i use this now it works a little bit better so let's try again so you see only if i jump all the way on top here right if i hit that then there's a little problem but other than that this is okay um we cannot really get around with that unless we will we'll just remove the uh, hitbox like this like let's let me try this so let's duplicate this let's put this up here so what we can do is uh, we are going to um, delete all these guys no hitbox on the top so if, you, if i show you this you see um so the ninja can 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 you see he can he can run through it right which is kind of bad right so he can he can jump he doesn't have any issue but he can jump but you know sometimes he can get into the middle of it right so that's why that's why we added those hitbox but uh i mean i'm not sure there's a eat a better way to do it uh, for now you know we can just kind of make it smaller i think there may be some way we can check if it's a jumping action and then we can ignore that or something with the hitbox if it's a running action then we have to stop it but that will require some code to check so basically this is lesson just uh trying to get the uh, ninja um kind of move around with the with the hitbox uh, in place so that you know we kind of block him from moving across the platform that's what we're trying to do so we go to like using level two level two is fine it works pretty well um right level two works well right we can move like this kind of like that you cannot move into the into the uh, the, the rocks but um you know level three with those little uh, step there's some problem so we'll, we'll see. Let me think about that, see if we can do that a little bit better. If not, we'll, we'll just continue with the, uh, with uh, just cleaning out the uh, thin strip here so that you'll prevent him from uh, getting his head stuck in the middle of this grass when running. Okay. All right. I think we'll stop here for now. Uh, we'll continue next time. Uh, thanks for um, uh, doing the lesson with me. Uh, see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.